Viewer discretion is advised. and I've been lucky enough to be asked by Gar to join him in creating some new music for his band Angel Rage, which is fantastic. There are a few bands with whom our history is so intertwined that it would be difficult to tell our story without mentioning them. Uh, one of those bands is a Pantera tribute from Los Angeles called Domination 101. I first met them when I was working at Sound Arena Studios, um, and we became friends, a great bunch of guys. If I was to sum up our relationship in one word, it would be fun. Always a good time with those guys, you know, usually involving liquor and fireworks of some sort. <laughs> Eventually, they asked me to do their website, and I went on to manage them, you know. So, very tight relationship with Domination 101 for many years. I love Gar's work. I was uh, lucky enough to meet him when I was playing bass for uh, the Pantera Tribute Band, Domination 101, and um, had many great experiences working with him. He helped us on our webpage and did some incredible work. Very creative in everything he does, and uh, I appreciate the ability to be able to continue to work with him, and uh, I think you have some excellent new music to look forward to so keep watching i'm honored and thrilled to have mike in the band he's a an amazing bass player and a great guy both he and his wife christine very nice people you know very down to earth and um you know when i asked him i thought he was gonna say no he's a very busy guy you know um and i was just so surprised and uh and thrilled when he said yeah so <laughs> In December of 2014, I got a phone call from my old buddy Mark, and he told me that they were putting together an all-star jam for January of 2015 and asked me if I wanted to be part of it. Um, my first instinct was to say no. I hadn't been on stage in 10 years since the last time I played with Angel Rage. So, um, you know, I, I wasn't sure I could, could pull it off. You know, he twisted my arm a little bit. He, he strongly encouraged me to do it. And eventually, I said, yeah. So, um, January 17th of 2015, um, I was back on stage. Mark called me up to the stage. Um, he let me use his full Randall stack and a brand new Dimebag Razorback guitar. Held it in the air with the strap up. So I literally, all I had to do was step into it put the pick in my hand, patted me on the back and said, have fun, brother. And um, I'll tell you, man, that was one of the nicest things anybody ever did for me.
the caliber of talent on that stage was incredible. I mean, literally, you know, members of, of some of my very favorite bands from L.A. And uh, it was just such an honor to be on stage with them. And um, I'm just so grateful to Mark for putting that together. singer for Domination 101, Sean Pilon, is now singing with Angel Rage. The final bass player for Domination 101, Michael Courtois, is now playing bass for Angel Rage. And without Mark, the guitar player from Domination 101, you know, getting me back out there on stage, um, I don't know if I ever would have come back with, with New Angel Rage. I mean, being on stage again really just kind of put the fire in my blood. Um, it was good for me to see that I still had it. You know, I, I was still a viable rock and roll animal on stage, you know. So, you know, I, I mean, without that band, the present lineup of Angel Rage would not exist. you've enjoyed this little peek behind the scenes and thank you guys for watching the video for liking and sharing i fucking love you guys you rock <laughs>